this is the last morning that the duck pond will be full of water for the irrigation pump. Needless to say, when I got home tonight, I was pleasantly surprised to find the irrigation pond slash duck pond full of water and all of the sprinklers still running full tilt. And welcome back to Nelson Creek Farm. It is a beautifully glorious fall day here in southern Idaho. It is a whopping 70 some odd degrees today, lower 70s, but it's beautiful. And it is Friday the 14th. 2022, not the 13th. Knock on some wood. You know, you can't be mad at lazy people. You just can't. After all, they haven't done anything. <laughs> I was really surprised tonight to get home to find that the duck pond was uh, even fuller than normal. I figured that'd be down at least a foot, maybe two, because the water being turned off. So we're gonna make a quick trip up the road and see what was going on. Apparently the neighbors didn't want any more water today, so they shut their gates off. So all the residue that is running downhill is uh, running over the top of the riser here. And mine is running full tilt. Uh, you can't hardly see it, but yeah, water is up about as high as it's gonna go. So it looks like I'm going to have water at least through tonight and possibly tomorrow to uh, keep irrigating stuff with. I'm back from that quick trip up the road to see what was going on and it looks like everybody and everything is dumping their water down the uh, ditch line and, the, and whatnot uh, that feeds here into Nelson Creek Farm. So right now I have an abundance of water. In fact, I have so much water right now, if I'd have had this all summer, I could have been irrigating the farm fields out there and putting in some hay. Yeah, I could have done it, but they cut us way back to half of our shares. Now I'm running it to a thousand percent. While I'm standing here admiring these beautiful hollyhocks, the last of the blooms for the season. I'm gonna ask you why your nose can't be 12 inches long. Give up? It's because it would be a foot. <laughs> we even have some last minute uh, blooming flowers here on the farm out in the uh, wildflower bed. Those are kind of pretty. Those wildflowers aren't gonna be around much longer. We're supposed to have Overnight lows in the mid to upper 40s for about the next five days. And then after that, we're looking at a good solid freeze. That little tiger kitten is going to be quite the mouser if we can keep her around here a long time. Yeah, she's got herself a, either a, a gopher or a mouse right there. It looks big enough. It's probably a gopher. Meanwhile, the lazy tomcat just sits back over here in the shadows and watches. I was invited over to some friends' house for dinner the other night. We were having a great time chatting, Ted and I were, and Mary finally popped off and she said, could I have some peace and quiet please while I'm cooking? Well, Ted and I thought about it for a minute and we promptly got up and pulled all the batteries out of the smoke alarms. Yeah! <laughs> well, that's going to do it uh, tonight from Nelson Creek Farm. We're uh, slowly getting wound down for the season. And we'll be into the shop doing some repairs and restorations there. And as always, thank Kitty, you got to quit. And as the sun is setting here in southern Idaho, I'd like to wish you and yours a happy weekend. Have a good one, folks. And as always, if you would, please, it means ever so much, subscribe right down there on that big red thing with the white letters that say subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, and let me know what you think in the comments if you'd like. And stay tuned. we got more coming up from Nelson Creek Farm. 
I'm Farmer Dave, wishing you well. Bye-bye now. Oh my goodness, yes. Look at that. You got a full belly tonight, huh? Yes, you do. Yeah, gopher must have been good.